the buses to town meet all flights. It's really a short distance. And you can pay by cash or credit card. And here's the town of Longyearbyen right in front of us. This is what Longyearbyen looks like at noon. Uh, high noon. Our hotel. Uh, it's on two sides of the road. Those are standard rooms and we're on that side. We just checked into Svalbard Hotel and Lodge for five nights. Like I said, we've got fingers crossed that we're going to see the northern lights. However, one never knows. It's a nice size room. If there are northern lights, I guess we should be able to look out the window, though it's hard to see with all the light. Oh goody, we got a tub. The bathroom. Tub shower combination. Toilet. Of course, towels. When you come to Longyear Burn, you don't wear shoes inside. They ask you to take them off as soon as you enter. Then you can carry them upstairs, which is what we did. I remember that from last time. You're given a combination that you use to access your room, which is sort of unusual. Svalbard Hotel's a really nice buffet. The salami, cheeses, yogurt. Of course, there's always herring in the Norwegian countries. Ooh, look at all this. She looks Everybody probably sleeps in because it's dark all day. There's nothing to see and it's supposed to rain. Not much chance of the northern lights. What can I tell you? Soft eggs, hard eggs, smoothies, fruit. And let's see, juice. And there's the coffee. Coffee machines, too. I don't know if you could see that, but it is warmer here, way above the Arctic, only 800 miles away from the North Pole than it is in Chicago. The sun will not appear again in Longyearbyen for 30 four more days. They have a nice countdown here. This is just an FYI. All the hotels in Langyerbrunn ask guests to please take off their shoes and leave them at the front door. There, there are shelves in here. So make sure you bring another pair of shoes or slippers or something to wear around the hotel.